After having put thousands of hours into maxing not only a normal Iron Man account, but also a hardcore Iron Man account, I set myself a goal to be the first person in RuneScape to max all three Iron Man game modes. I'm now attempting to tackle one of Old School's most difficult challenges, maxing an Ultimate Iron Man. This is my road to maxing every Iron Man mode. What's up everybody, welcome to episode number 32 of the Road to Maxing Every Iron Man Mode series. So the entire last video was me doing Barrows, and right now I am at 16 of 25 items. I did mention at the end of that video which items I needed still. So I decided what I'm going to be doing here is going up to 400 Barrows chests. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe I won't even get an item in that. But 400 is the number that I'm going to be stopping at. And from there, the majority of this video will more than likely be me doing mess hall. Uh, since I need to get my cooking up to 94 in order to stop burning sharks. And it's like, I think 115 KXP per hour or something. So it's going to be a pretty long grind. But yeah, I'm going to head back to Barrows now. I'll see you guys if I do manage to get another item. Wow. What a way to break the dry streak. So I haven't gotten an item since 322 KC, and I get an Aram staff out of it. Uh, I can't really complain. My Barrel's luck has been really good, so it was about time I went pretty dry again. Still 16 chests to go, though, so there is a chance I could get something else. And that's going to do it for Barrows. There is chest number 400. Once again, sadly, I didn't get anything. Uh, so doing these other chests was kind of a bust. Only ended up getting that extra Aram staff. So from doing this, I got almost 200,000 mine runes, almost 70,000 chaos runes, which alone is like two more onyxes, and about 1.9 mil GP in just Barrow's Elks. And of course, from all the items I got, I did end up keeping the tank top, tank bottom, Carol's top, Aram's bottoms, Darox helm, and Darox axe. Still looking for that Darox plate body to finish out the set. I'll come back sometime in the future and do that when I actually need it for mole or when I need more extra space in my looting bag. So I'm going to be moving into the skilling grinds now. Originally, I was going to do mess hall for cooking levels, but it's insanely click intensive. And I've been prey flicking at barrels all day, so... I want to do something a bit more AFK, so I'm going to do fishing first instead. Since I don't have my gargoyle task anymore as well, I'm just going to use Zolra to suicide so I can get an empty inventory while doing barb fishing, and also since I need an empty inventory for doing mess haul after. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, you can fish minnows at 82 fishing, and being 68, that means I need about 1.8 million XP, so... This is going to take uh, around 40 hours to get. Since it's so AFK, the XP is really consistent though, so I should be able to get it done in like 3 days. It's only been about 3 hours, but I did figure I'd show you guys this level. So there's level 70. Another thing I forgot to mention here, most of you guys obviously probably know about this by now, but I wasn't actually thinking about it. Uh, so the agility XP I'm going to be getting here, um, it's about, I think, 1 in 11. So I could end up getting maybe like 72, 73 agility from doing this as well. Now it's been quite a while since I did show you guys the last update. That's 75 fishing, and I'm also 7.5k away from getting to another agility level, so that's going to be about maybe like 80k more fishing XP. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, this is going to save me a lot of time. Originally, I thought that for the armor case in the house, you could only store one set of armor with level 46. Uh, so I was planning after this to get my construction up to 61, and then I could use a crystal saw to boost 64 to make the next armor case, since I do already have rogue's armor in there. And I want to be able to store my angler as well. I didn't realize that the case I have now, the oak armor case, is actually two sets of armor. So I don't even have to do any construction. So that's going to save me a lot of time. As for getting level 82 fishing though, I'm still 1.2 mil XP away. There's the first agility level, level 71. Uh, about 30k away from 76 fishing. So it still hasn't been too long since the last update. Level 80 fishing. Alright, now it's been over 30 hours since I started. 80 fishing, two more levels left to go until I can get out of here. Really hasn't been too bad, you know, fishing is always nice to AFK and just chill and do stuff on the side with. I'm um, getting really, really close to being done with fishing now. There is level 72 agility. So at this point, uh, about 200k more XP to go to 82. So I'd say about four hours. This is such a bad timing too, because I have to do mess hall literally right after this. And uh, I don't know how much of you guys follow new games that came out, but the game Sekiro just came out and I'm watching people play it on Twitch. And Mess Hall isn't really something you can watch uh, stuff on the side while doing. Uh, so this is kind of bad timing. There it is, guys. Near 40 freaking hours later. Level 82 fishing, and I can now catch minnows. So with the uh, clue bottles that you get fishing randomly, I did get a medium clue scroll like 3 or 4 minutes ago, and I figured why not just try to do it. Um, if it requires wilderness, I'm just going to drop it. Uh, this first one I did, of course, make sure that I can do, so... Uh, maybe I'll get incredibly lucky and get rangers on my first clue scroll or something, but I'm going to try to do this. Well, I was able to do it. It was a three-step clue. I uh, don't expect to get anything good from this, but let's just go see. Um, 
yeah, so it kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going to be doing these more. I probably should have been doing them the whole time I was fishing. I probably got like six or seven of them. But next thing on the list, now that I'm done with fishing, is going to be cooking in mess hall. So I will see you guys over there. So I'm not still entirely sure what level I'm going to be going to here. At first, I was going to get to 94 because that's the level you stop burning sharks with cooking gauntlets. But then if you have cooking gauntlets and you use the kitchen that is right here... Um, you start burning them at 89. I'm more than likely just going to be getting 99 cooking from all the grapes I get from doing Zolra anyway. So it's kind of just going to depend on how annoying this is because it is really click intensive as I mentioned before. So for now, the minimum goal I'm going to set is level 85. You can cook sharks at 80. So getting a little bit over that, I'll burn less when I'm cooking them. Even if I end up burning some, uh, you can get so many an hour from minnows that burning them really doesn't make too much of a difference. For those of you that haven't done this, it can be an absolute pain. You have to take out 30 13 flour and then you go over to the other cabinet you take out 13 bowls fill them with water uh, you make the dough and then of course you add the tomatoes to them the cheese to them and then you have to cut the pineapples add the pineapple slices to them the whole process is just pretty much putting these items in the bottom of your inventory and just spam clicking them back and forth a lot of people used to do this when hk was allowed and it made it a lot easier but now that you have to click it pretty much one by one on your own um, it can get pretty tiring pretty quickly. I don't 100% remember the amount of XP you get per hour doing this. I thought it was 115k. I might be completely off. I really can't remember. So I'm going to test this for an hour going as fast as I can. I'm just going to put some music on and full focus on it to see how much XP I can get per hour. Um, yeah, I was really far off from what I thought this was per hour. So I got almost 182k XP this hour. Of course, this was playing full attention over time, I'm not going to be paying this much attention to it. I'll probably end up getting like 150, 160k. Pretty good timing as well. There is level 73 cooking. But yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this. Hopefully, I can manage to do it for a long period of time. So let's say it's been around 9 or 10 hours. Uh, 1.2 million total cooking XP. There is level 80, which is the level I require to cook sharks. So overall, this really isn't as bad as I thought it was. It started out really bad, but once I get used to how much clicking it is, I can still do stuff on the side. Uh, speaking of which, if you guys haven't seen or played that Sekiro game I was talking about earlier, you should definitely check it out because it's freaking crazy. So since I am so used to doing this now and I feel like I can grind it out, I'm going to be going for 90 cooking. I feel like that's a good... A place to stop at 10 levels over cooking sharks. I should burn a little bit less. I need a total of 5.3 million XP to get there, so uh, it's still going to be a pretty long time. So, after yet another 1.5 million XP into this, there's level 85, and I can say confidently that by this point, this is absolutely awful. Uh, first, like, what was it, 1.2 mil last update? I uh, wasn't really minding it, but now, yeah, it's, it's pretty terrible. I still have like 2.1 mil xp to go as well so i'm just a little bit over halfway i'm still gonna do it though i really want to get 90 so i guess i'll see you guys whenever i manage to do that finally 90 cooking 4.5 million xp gained so from where i started cooking till now i ended up making about 12,000 pineapple pizzas and i'd say between this and fishing it probably took about 80 hours so it's definitely nice to be done with these two grinds. Before I do head over to the fishing trawler minigame to try to get my full anglers, I am eligible to do Tears of Guthics again. So there it is, guys. A level 50 plus in every skill. Now that I do have 50 rune crafting, my range is still level 50. I do not want that to be my lowest skill because I want all of my Tears of Guthics going into either rune crafting or construction. So I'm definitely going to have to train that sometime soon. So now comes fishing trawler. Uh, this really isn't too bad. You pretty much just sit in one spot and spam click the floor. Uh, the angler pieces are a 1 in 8 and the games take, I'd say, about 10 to 15 minutes. Probably more on the end of 15 minutes between getting in the game and getting back in another one. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I did get pretty lucky the last time I got it. Hey, that wasn't too long. That took me three three total games to get my first piece and there's the second piece after six games hey there's a third piece 12 total fishing trawler games so i'm getting pretty lucky right now there's a bunch of people here complaining that they've been here for like uh 10 hours which i, I don't understand how you could be that unlucky and there's the last piece guys there's full anglers i got this one on my 23rd so it took me 23 total which really isn't too bad i guess the actual rate would be 32 since they are one and eight each to get the full set so I got it well before that. But now that I do have this full set, I can go and start fishing some minnow to get myself some sharks. 
Also, some plans I'm going to be doing, I'm probably going to fish maybe like 10 to 20k sharks. It really depends, like I said, on how boring it is, pretty much like mess hall. Plans from there, I'm going to imbue my B-ring, which is something I should have done a really long time ago. And I'm also going to be getting myself from 72 to 80 agility, since 80 agility is needed to unlock the fastest shortcut to get to Cerberus. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, well, definitely a lot of time went into this one compared to a lot of the other ones, I'd say... It was probably like 90 something hours of gameplay. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm hoping to have it up sometime within the next 7 to 10 days.